through Spain or Italy and seen all the small little streets where cars can drive through but they're so small they're quite cobbly and you see all these tiny little doors and ever wondered what's inside them and what does what does it look like on the inside so today I'm gonna to share with you um, what one of these houses look like on the inside so before you figure out who I am. I'm reminding you again, I'm the Goddess Style. I'm Erin Rosa Crow, or also aka the Goddess Mom. I'm here now in um, a city, a small little town called Medina Sidonia in the southwestern corner of Andalusia, Spain. And as you guys know, probably in about two or three videos ago, I told you that I've moved to Costa del Sol in southern Spain. And until my house, my, my current, well, my new house is ready, I'm traveling around, staying in different places and checking out the houses around here. So come with me. Oops, someone coming out. So this is the door. Let's go inside. So, as you can see, you got all these arches. It's you know quite, it's actually quite cool. The temperature is about 24, 25 degrees, and the walls are so thick. Actually, it's so cool in here. Um, so as you can see, let me just show you. It surprised me when I walked in. The door looks so small. Check this out. So this is my friend's house. And um, we are very blessed to be able to stay with her. That's her house. Well, actually, when she bought over this place, she said there were nine apartments in this tiny little door with all these courtyards. Um, they've actually converted this place into tiny nine apartments. And she has actually gotten um, a couple of uh, still old Spanish neighbors who've been here for a long, long time. So let's go upstairs. So um, as you can see, Ta -da! You go up the stairs and you got a courtyard upstairs with um, another person's apartment up there. And this is it. So that's where we walked in through that door over there. And that's it. It's a typical Spanish um, courtyard. And of course, as you probably realize by now, as I mentioned earlier, Andalusia is, um, has lots of the uh, influence of the Moors, and a bit of African influence, and of Spanish, and the European influence. So this is why I fell in love with this house, uh, with this, with the city. So that's another door to my friend's house, but because it used to be three apartments or three houses that she's taken over and, and broken all the walls down to turn into one house. So she's kindly uh, agreed to let me show you the inside of the house. We've just moved in to be to stay here with her. So, um, excuse me, mind you, it's a little bit messy because I've got all my crap in here. Um, woo! It was the husband's idea to show you guys actually what Spanish homes look like because we've always wondered ourselves. So, um, there you go, this is my friend's house and um, she said this used to be one apartment and where her living room is was another apartment so as you can see, that's the road out there oopsie um, there you go so um, that's where we were walking just now outside as you can see this is her living room and she's exposed all the old-fashioned brick walls now um, that's another room in there that was again another apartment and that's where my children are going to be sleeping tonight that's again a living room so um, I was asking my friend why is the Wi-Fi quite quite slow to get through even though she's got fiber and she said um, mind you she's like this wall from that room where the fiber was, where the um, where the Wi-Fi cable is, it is 60 centimeter thick, and I'm amazed. 
because I hadn't come from London where I was complaining all the time where the house I was living in was always cold, very drafty, or just oh I was always shivering. She said no, this is the reason why the house stays warm in the winter and cool in the summer because the walls are so thick. These are really really old houses and they are well built. So um, yeah, this is what a Spanish home looks like in Andalusia. Azura, tell me. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna put you on camera in case it's a bit too much for you. Um, is that all the uh, Spanish homes like this or is this very Andalusian? Oh, I think this is very Andalusian. Do you wanna be on camera? Yeah. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, Azura. So this is whose house I'm staying in. So is this very typical of Andalusia, you think? Or is this uh, the rest of Spain very much like this? It's very typical in the Lucia. So uh, what we, I think I'm sure I need to show you the cats. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my cats looking around the corner. Um, we did some restoration bits and pieces here and there. But it's still, very, yes. it's still very. This is still very authentic. We basically right? tried to bring back everything. So if you go to Barcelona, would you get this kind of? Uh no, not I don't really. think so. I don't this think is very so. Andalusian. Yeah. yeah. And then is it the similar in Italy too? Or would Italy not have caught yet? I don't think they got caught. No, so. I think this courtyard thing is a bit more, isn't it? More, a bit, yeah, a bit more to get the, you know, to get the cooling air, just uh, yeah. yeah, circulating in all the houses. There you go. So if you ever wondered when you're driving through Spain, uh, maybe even maybe parts of Italy, it's very similar. So this is what the houses look like on the inside behind those doors. So there you go. I'll see you next uh, week with another tutorial. Maybe, I don't know what it is. I'm still unpacking and moving around. I'm crazy. Let me know what you're thinking um, to see what you want me to talk about. Is there any review that you want to do? What you want me to do? Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, come on then. Let me hit a thousand subscribers because I've been told if I get to a thousand, subscribers I should do a giveaway which I'm very happy to do so there you go peace out and um, sending you lots of uh, sunshiny Andalusian um, sunlight heat <laughs>